In the reading which we just heard, the prophet Isaiah invites, or perhaps orders us, to seek the Lord where he may be found, and to call on him, for he is near. My friends, Advent is a special time for us to look back to the Lord's coming long ago. We repeat the cherished stories about his birth, how Mary and Joseph were accompanied by angels and shepherds and visited by Magi, and how from the wilderness his cousin, John the Baptist, entreated his hearers to prepare the way of the Lord. We seek the Lord there because he first sought us, came to us, shared with us his own life. We make our own the prayer of those who longed for his coming, though they knew not his name. Come, Lord Jesus. We also seek the Lord as the one who is coming at the end of our lives and at the end of time. We do not do this in fear or trembling, but in the joy of those who are assured that he brings with him our salvation and the salvation of the world. Again, we call out, come, Lord Jesus. But there are still other opportunities to look for the Lord, seeking him not just in the past or in the future, but in the many ways he breaks into our lives. We do not need to look back or forward, but rather to look around. For if we can view with reverence the Lord's first coming and with joyful expectation his final appearance, it is perhaps even more vital that we look to our everyday lives shared with our families, parents and children, wives and husbands, grandparents, uncles and aunts, with our neighbors and co-workers, and with every person we meet. For here, in our daily lives, the Lord is breaking into our lives in ways that we do not expect and can never anticipate. And even in these circumstances, we cry out, Come, Lord Jesus. Seeking the Lord during this pandemic is particularly challenging. It is difficult to see God's presence in the virulence of a germ that has upended what we have until now considered to be normal life. It is difficult to find the Lord during lockdown, sheltering, distancing, homeschooling, layoffs, standing in line at Second Harvest Food Bank, Martha's Kitchen, and Loaves of Fishes. But he is here, especially as consolation for the jobless and those who experience food insecurity. He himself calls to us, my ways are not your ways. As high as the heavens are from the earth, so high are my thoughts above your thoughts. Yes, Advent calls us, invites us to seek the Lord, but in the end, we may realize that the Lord has already been seeking us each and every day. This liturgy of reconciliation is an invitation to each of us throughout the Diocese of San Jose to discover again God's sustaining presence in our lives. It calls us to review our lives and to consider how well they correspond to the baptism that we share, renouncing sin and evil and professing the faith of the Church which marks our life in Christ. We also look for him in the mirror each morning. Can we find the Lord there, or is our vision impaired by the fog of previous days? Let us take a few moments now to examine our consciences and to open ourselves to the Lord who knocks at the door of our lives. Hearing again the words of John the Baptist, let us prepare the way of the Lord and cry out to him, Come, Lord Jesus, and do not delay. May God bless you all.